So today we, you know, we're gonna have some fun with potato, flour, and eggs, make gnocchi. You can use any kind of potato you want, from Idaho to rusted to sweet potato to purple potato. You know, you can just use your money as much you like. Also on flour, I prefer using like a zero zero. And obviously you need a you know, eggs to keep the dough, everything, everything together. In this case, I use cold potato. Let's understand cold potato less water, less humidity, less flour. So you can taste more of the actual potato itself. And also, I can mix the dough right now, you know, and, and use them two or three hours from now, even tomorrow. Gnocchi is a fun, a fun thing to do with kids, you know, and uh, I usually do it with my daughter when she doesn't know what to do on Sunday afternoon, maybe in a raining day. So I just entertain my daughter with making gnocchi. It's like playing with a, with a play doh. You want to have a nice, smooth dough. Gonna work a little more. Also, if your, you know, your potato dough is breaking apart, falling apart, you know, don't worry about it. You can just remix everything again, and we start all over again. You can't even, you can cut any size you like, nice, mark, for a, you know, a couple of reasons. See, you have like a nice hole where it's your ragu, your sauce actually stay inside. You know, different region, different in Italy, uh, they do different style of gnocchi. You know, do the extra step at home with the fork, you can just cut your gnocchi, pinch, and you have your perfect shape. Some people they use these little tools, you know, it's very old, you can make a bunch of different pasta, but it's also it's easy for, uh, for your gnocchi. This little board is easy, the more just a little precise and, and uh, for me it's a relax. You know, it's my 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 zen, you know, my yoga class. This is enough for three. Okay, just take about 30 to 40 seconds. Once you put in the water, remember salty water always. You want to put your gnocchi, actually every pasta in the salty water. And uh, like a bunch of different sauce. You know, from like a good ragu, can be just with the parmigiano and olive oil, can be just, you know, with pesto. You know, depending on what, you, what you're looking for. With always with a good butter. You know, we're using, in this case, it's a French butter, a little salty, 3% of fat. Water. Melt my butter. Remember, no salt, because it's already salty. Simple way, actually, for a, for a tomato sauce. I just use a touch of olive oil, basil. You want to add some garlic, you don't know. And crush a couple of San Marzano tomato. Five minutes and your sauce is ready. I'm gonna crush a couple of San Marzano in the olive oil. One minute, we have a gnocchi ready to go. So we do some with my perfect butter, some with, you know, fresh, some marzano sauce. And the third one is with a nice braised lamb ragu. Uh, 
parmigiano parmigiano e just you know buon appetito